All right, but anyway, now we get to the most depressing topic of them all that we'll hit today, I think, in um I think in sports in general, I guess. And uh, definitely definitely going on here. So, there was I think two deadlines that were missed yesterday. There was one by Saquon Barkley for sure. I know that his deadline passed where the, him and the New York Giants didn't agree and he is potentially going to be under a franchise tag and then Josh Jacobs of the Raiders as well. So it is mainly due to <clears throat> it is mainly due to the wide receivers want uh protection. They want they want long term protection and they want to get paid. And the reason why this kind of adds like an extra layer of nasty, like an extra layer of it just doesn't sit right. It shouldn't sit right with you as a person. And I I know what like debate lords are going to say. I know what uh, people that like like are horny for capitalism, you know, like like people like that. Like I I know like old head like old NFL heads like I know what they're gonna say I know what their whole shit is um but I think that if it does if it sits right with you in any sort of way or if you think that like it just you you don't like you don't mind what's happening or you don't think that there's a need to change it I think there's a problem I think again I I always try to preach like athletes always like any of us, are are people, okay? They are, you know, they've sacrificed a ton and they've put their body fucking through it and they get paid a lot more than normal people do. I get that. But that's not what this is about. What it is about is their usage compared to their pay, okay? Like, that's what we should have a problem with. I know that quarterbacks are the most important position in uh, in a football team. And, you know, people like to say of all sports. Okay, whatever. Like, even if you want to say that, right? And I know it's because the way the league's going, it's turning more offensive and wide receivers are growing more and more important. But the one position that is absolutely just getting demolished in every single way is the running back okay running backs every team does not knows that they don't pay the running backs because they don't last um because they had they kind of hit the wall after a certain whatever because um you can't build your team around them you know because they might get hurt you know, because you can get similar productivity uh, from from other guys, you know, unless you have a super megastar, these are like the arguments that kind of are what's given as to why the running back position isn't paid. Okay? So that, we are just kind of setting fucking groundwork here, okay? And now, with Saquon being out, and not reporting to off-season training camp, um, there's a lot of questions that are, you know, kind of going, and the debate is brought back up. And the only thing that I will say about the debate is um, just, just because it didn't work out with somebody isn't a reason that, A, things don't need reform, or B, that the whole thing deserves to be thrown out and, and I'll tell you why everybody blames and and it's right here in the comments I, I saw it here at the corner of my eye everybody blames Zeke Elliott and Todd Gurley because Todd Gurley got hurt he had a knee th- I think it was arthritis in his knee or something like that um, but whatever he wasn't the same back they paid him a ton of money and then he just w- just was was pretty much done okay and Ezekiel Elliott, his production went down, 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 down. And Tony Pollard was the more used, better running back than Ezekiel Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott was still a bell cow that was just wearing the defenses 
and going at them, but not not getting a lot of productivity. Um, however, again, the running back, not only the position, but their usage and the way that they're being used now is is really tough for people to say, just put them in there. Just put anybody in there, okay? Like, they are they are the ones that are just getting put through it. And it's getting really, really tough um, to see how they're just not getting paid. But we'll, we'll go a little bit more into it. But let's, let's take a look at some of the statements that have gone on because of the Saquon situation of the running backs around the league, okay? So this is Derrick Henry, plays for hometown Titans here. Uh, amazing player. I think people also have been calling for his downfall for a couple of years now, and he just keeps being a back that is carrying the Titans. Like he, if anybody, if there was, I mean, I'm trying to think of anybody else that carries a team like Derrick Henry carries the Titans. And again, I mean, people are going to say, well, they haven't got to the Super Bowl, so uh, yada, yada, yada. I get that. Um, but it's a team game, so I'm not. I'm. I'm just trying not to get like blocked by like. Sh- I'm arguing with my fucking self here. Anyway, um, I don't know, but really, I don't know that there's a back that carries their team. Like, I mean, maybe honestly, uh, Saquon Barkley, and Josh Jacobs, like those those three, are absolutely carrying their teams, and the worst thing for Saquon Barkley. He gets hurt. He comes back. He's carrying this team. They have no offense if it's not him. He is a machine. He turns losses into gains. He gets the ball in the backfield with three guys on him, two guys on him, and he still gets positive yards. And they didn't even want Daniel Jones. Again, I did see this point. And they didn't even want Daniel Jones. And now all of a sudden... He gets paid. He's getting paid like 45 a year, and they're offering Saquon 10. So, again, it's just really, really tough to see. I think if you can look at it in terms of a, like just a person, like just look at the usage that they're getting out of these guys, and they're not paying them is, um, is sad. But anyway, all right, hold on. Let's we're gonna take a look at some of the statements here. At this point, just take the uh, running back position out of the game then. The ones that want to be great and work hard, uh, work as hard as they can to give their all to an organization, just just seems like done, does, don't even matter. I'm with every running back that's fighting to get what they deserve. Absolutely. Jonathan Taylor. One, if you're good enough, they'll find you. Two, if you work hard enough, you'll succeed. If you succeed, you'll boost the organization. And then, doesn't matter, you're a running back. Um, I think he's actually responded to somebody, and I do think I s- saved it or saw it. Hold on. Okay, here it is. Uh... I'm not sure who Matt, Matt Miller is, but Matt Miller, it says, oh, he's a ESPN draft analyst and insider. Okay, well, there you go. Been saying it for years. Draft an RB. This is from 20. Wow, this was yesterday. Holy shit. Okay, been saying it for years. Draft a running back. Play the running back. If he's good, franchise tag the running back one time and then draft a running back. That's fucking crazy. He's basically using the equivalent of, like, use him, ring him out, throw him out, get another one. Again, I know that sports basically does that in general. I do get that. But there is a massive difference between, like, if you're sticking with a food analogy of, like, making a deal making a meal, curating it, eating it, enjoying it, you know, cleaning up after, versus microwaving it for 10 seconds, eating it, and tossing it out like trash. There's just a difference. There is a difference. It's insane. Ah, man. I do actually have a change that 
obviously has to happen. I think the NIL for college does help because it was honestly, it was criminal that college players, college football players weren't getting paid. Um, again, we will, we will leave that for now. We'll leave that for now. Um, but it's crazy that people think like that. Just put a body in there. Just get a strong body, put it in there, use it, toss it aside. I understand that that's basically what sports is, but there is a level of respect between organizations and players and the balance they're in, the pay they're in, and everything else. And it seems like with running backs, they're devaluing it so freaking much that it just, I, it's approaching insane levels. And again, do not get me wrong. I understand that they make millions of dollars. Like they are rejecting $10 million pay. I get that. But this isn't a comparison between the average worker and a, a professional football player. This is between a professional football player and a professional football player. Okay? Like that, like that. We have to make that distinction. That always has to be there. Anyway, so that was the tweet from Matt Miller, who absolutely should be disgusted with himself. What a piece of garbage, um, if if we're being honest. Who is Matt Miller, bro? I'm not saying that is an insult. I'm saying, like, literally, what does he look like? That is crazy. Um, Matt Miller? Let me see. What's he look like? Okay. I mean, it's not important. I I just I just wanted to see it. I guess. Um. <sighs> that's crazy, bro. All right. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show because I I don't know. Whatever. That's his profile. I mean, he's not. He's a public person. I just. Um. I don't care. Um, anyway, so this is the tweet that was referenced there. This is the kind of trash that has artificially devalued one of the most important positions in the game. Everyone knows it's tough to win without a top running back, and yet they act like we are discardable widgets. I support any running back doing whatever it takes to get his bag. And it is very, very interesting slash telling that ESPN is posting this. ESPN is posting it. Austin Eckler is responding to one of their fucking insiders. Post that. Show the whole fucking thing. Show what he's responding to. I think that that is disingenuous. Let me see. I'll put that in here. Nah, I'll do it later. Um, but again, this is where... This is where... As well as... You got to be careful. This is where we shouldn't be confused when big companies posture like they're supporters of you because they're not. They just like clicks. They just like people to be on them. They're sensationalists. I'm not and I'm not saying that they're making it up. Maybe in some instances they only show one angle or, you know, they're doing this or that, whatever. We can argue about that. But at the end of the day, they just want the most clicks and the most sensationalism. All right. And for them to show. that, like, oh, look at all. Look at all what the running backs are saying. This is a direct response. What Austin Eckler here is saying to what one of their insiders is saying about running backs. I think that that's important context. I think that they should be they should add that. Uh personally. Uh Christian McCaffrey obviously amazing player as well. This is criminal. Three of the best players in the entire league regardless of position. Absolutely. I mean even again Austin Eckler is one of those guys where um he was like 
a ton of the Chargers offense. Like a ton of it. Like running and catching out the backfield. He was a massive, massive, um, massive chunk of the offense. And they just run these guys into the ground. Again, I see him in the comments here. Le'Veon Bell is another guy that the Steelers absolutely ran into the ground. And then when it time it comes time to pay them, they're like, eh, I'm not going to pay you. And he's like, what do you... What do you mean? I I worked this hard. I worked to be an invaluable piece of your offense. And now when it's time to get mine, and I showed you, uh, hey, man, I can't. I, I can't do it. See if, you, see if somebody else will pay you. Um, and uh, Najee Harris, I agree with my running back brothers around the NFL. History will show that you need running backs to win. Absolutely. We set the tone every game, run through walls for our team, and lead in many ways. This notion that we deserve less is a joke. 100%. 100%. And and the thing is, what what I love is just that, like, you just, you need everything. You need a good O-line. You need a good center. You need a quarterback. You need a run game, and then you need wide receivers. You know, and, and as soon as something doesn't go right for a quarterback, well, he doesn't have wide receivers. Well, he doesn't have a good tight end. Well, his O line is is terrible. Well, you know, he doesn't really have a run game that he can go to, so he has to throw all the time. So we offer all these excuses for a quarterback, but not anybody else. Not anybody else. Anybody else is on their own. And then Saquon saying it is what it is. So again, it's just it's just crazy to see uh, the running back position and its devalue. Um, and and the way that they're being used again um, is is sad. So hopefully this will get resolved. But I think that if the top running backs, I think that that's always one of those excuses. Like the top running backs um, aren't on their team for a quarterback. Then, you know, analysts and and sports center and ESPN and all these people are going to be quick to say, like, well, he doesn't have a run game. Josh Allen. Oh, well, he has to do all the running himself. So poor Josh. He has to do all the running himself. He runs it himself. He throws it himself. What do you want him to do? Catch it as well? God, man. He's doing everything out there. Hmm. Maybe if you ha- maybe running backs are a worthwhile position. You know, it's just it's again, I mean, you're not, I'm not going to get over it. It's it's really sad. It's it's sad to see you really really do need a good running back. A running back will make a massive difference to your team. And, uh, it, again, it sucks that teams aren't seeing that. And that, that the position itself is being so devalued. It's going to turn a lot of athletes away, you know? For, especially from the position. And then it's going to be real evident as to how important a running back position really is. 